a great, with a great jealousy. Now who's Jerusalem and who's Zion? Jerusalem and Zion is a people before it's a place. It's talking about the children of Israel, which are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent. We are the Lord's chosen people, therefore he's jealous for us, as a man is jealous over his woman, okay? If he was in his right mind, which here in America, they, these, these guys, they out of their fucking mind because they, they allow their woman to, to talk, deal with anybody when they supposed to have some type of, okay, that's my woman. Why are you talking to my woman? It's the same way the Most High feels about Israel. So when these other nations touched us, all right, which they about to celebrate the destruction or, or them conquering us, all right, which the Lord allowed that, they about to celebrate it with Thanksgiving, all right, and the rest of these demonic ass holidays, okay? The Most High is jealous, man. Keep reading. And I am sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. Yeah, and who's the main top heathen that's uh, at ease? It's the so-called white man. Because they really don't believe that they will be touched. Which the Lord is going to touch them. And we're going to show through the scriptures that there's no room. There's no way they can repent. All right? And they will be touched by the Heavenly Father. Okay? Definitely with the missiles. Okay? And the rest of you dusty heathens, you Arabs, you East Indians, you damn Africans, you real ones, uh, help me out. What's it? Moab? Yeah, Moab. And yeah, you Japanese. Israel? Yeah. All y'all, man. And the ones, and even you Japhites, the ones we can't even remember. Keep reading. And help to afford the affliction. Yeah, because they help to afford affliction. How do they help to afford affliction? They come to America, these heathens, all right, these other nations, all right, they can't speak one, they can't, they can barely speak the language of, of the land, which is English, right? But yet they get, uh, they get, uh, help me out, they get aid from the, the government to set up businesses and stuff. Government loans, government grants. Government, yeah, government, government loans and government grants to establish businesses where you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans live, and then, they afford the affliction because they either sell you abominable meats, which is against the laws of the Bible, or they, they sell you idols, or they make a, a whole buku of money off of these, uh, these, these uh, so-called holidays of America. The main one, Thanksgiving, which the Lord is not with Thanksgiving, which you peons are going to celebrate it anyway. So that's how they afford affliction. Kyria. Therefore thou, therefore, thus said the Lord, I am, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. That's right. That's, that's why you have the brothers that's able to come out here, starting with the elders, teaching the word, and, and building up Jake. Because the Lord's having mercy on us, because he's allowing the elect of the Lord to come back to him. By repenting and accepting uh, the Lord according to the scriptures. Okay? Keep reading. My house shall be built in it. That's right. Says the Lord of hosts. That's 14. And a line shall go, and a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Uh -huh. That's it. Yeah. Go to Zechariah 8, verses 2 and 3. So the Lord is jealous, and he's only jealous for Israel. Alright? Not them, not them uh them gutter rats over there that, that has the largest gay parade. AKA uh, Tel Aviv, also known as the Pink City. Those ain't the Lord's people. The Lord's people are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent. Okay. Keep reading. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 2. Yeah. Thus said the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Zion with a great jealousy. Uh huh. And I was jealous for her with great fury. With great fury. All right, so when, when judgment starts increasing even more on America and on these heathens, all right, yeah, the so-called white man, when he started receiving more of his judgment, all right, and these other nations too, and two-thirds that want to be joined under them, it's because the Lord is jealous, man, and he's going to execute his jealousy with fury by means of ICBM thermonuclear missiles. Thus said the Lord, I am returned unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. 
That's verse 3. And okay. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth. Yeah. And a mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. The holy mountain, the holy government. Now when will that be established? Well it's starting to be for uh, starting to be fulfilled right about now with the brothers waking up, the elect being sealed. But that will fully come into fruition when the Lord come back and two thirds is destroyed and the one third and the elect are set in power when the Lord comes back to humble these nations, all right, and to put his enemies as his footstool, okay? But that's starting to uh, happen with brothers coming back to the truth, okay? Go to Ezekiel 39, verse 25. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 25, okay? Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 25. 25. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob. See? And have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. Uh-huh. And with and with and will be jealous for my my holy name. That's right, Yahweh by Shemal Shai. That's the holy name. Now you got these clowns out here that refuse to push the name, like Nathaniel 7 and his uh him and cousin Skeeter, that nigga with the big eyes talking about you can call the most high yo play yoga. You gonna be destroyed, man. Okay? Then you got bubble eyes who sold out teaching this Ahaya Sure Ahaya and, and Yeshaya, which that's not the names, okay? Deceiving the simple, okay, because when we was first coming in, we thought that was the name until we saw the elders break it down. And when they broke it down, we said, you know what? They're on point. This guy's going off. Plus, he was teaching other stuff like Esau to be saved and stuff. Scriptures don't say that, okay? And then you got other guys out there that just say, Yah, bless. It's all Yah. Or, or what's that nigga named Colombo? That nigga that, uh, the soldier? That nigga that, that was sending you those messages talking about, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, the name? Yeah, you, you gonna be X'd out, man. The Lord is going to evaporate your ass with these missiles, man. Demon. Okay? I'm talking about, uh, yeah, how shy ain't going to save us. You know, even though that's what his name means. Yeah, he, how shy deliverer. That's what, that's, that's the Lord's name in the Hebrew. Or who the world even called Jesus Christ. That's his name in the Hebrew. It means he, the deliverer. And that's what he's gonna come and do. He's gonna deliver the elect of Israel through means of the chariots. So what the hell is this nigga talking about saying your house ain't gonna save us? And, and, and he doesn't refer to the most high, he called him just the most high. He has a name too, okay? His name is Yahweh. It means, the Yah at the beginning means he, and ha uh, Hawa means to be, or he exists, all right? So you you know you 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 that nigga bugged out, man. Yeah. So read that again. So when the Lord starts to turn Jacob's captivity, all right, and when he uh, saves the whole house of Israel, which is in the kingdom, it's because of this. Read that again. Ezekiel thirty nine twenty five. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power. Now will I bring again the captivity, captivity of Jacob. Yep. And have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. The whole house of Israel. When's that in the kingdom? Not on this side. For all you, y'all bless, all you niggas that's trying to save everybody, man. You can't save everybody, and we're gonna prove that because the most high he set up a number to be destroyed. And the reason why they have to be destroyed is because of their past sins, which they don't remember. But that's too deep for uh, the simple, man. Keep reading. And have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. For his holy name's sake. That's the end of that. Go to uh, Exodus chapter 34, verse 14. Exodus chapter 34, verse 14. Yep. For thou shalt worship no other power, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. That's right. That's the end of that. Yeah.
That's right.